International Nursing Day is celebrated each year on the 12th of May. It is, of course, the birthday of Florence Nightingale, who's regarded as a pioneer of nursing. I think the COVID-19 pandemic has not only made us appreciate the field of nursing and healthcare more, but it's also highlighted the challenges faced by healthcare workers, particularly in South Africa, such as a shortage of staff, as well as overcrowded wards. The, the, the purpose of today's gathering is for nurses to have a conversation and reflect on the field that is nursing, but also to talk about ways that they as healthcare workers can contribute to conversations as well as efforts by stakeholders on how they can better improve the field of working. The, the big part of today's conversation is an issue around migration of healthcare workers and nurses in particular, with Danosa calling on the government, the public health care system, as well as the private health care system to employ um, health care workers, nurses in particular, so that they don't leave the country. But to talk to me more about the purpose of today and what it means for them, are two student nurses from the University of Pretoria who have just started their public service training at Steve Nico Academic Hospital. Um, if you can just tell us the, what does today mean to you? Today to me means that I'm in the midst of people who are greater than me, nurses all over the country who have been in my shoes and are here to share their experiences and to help us see that we face the same challenges and that we can conquer. Yeah. And speaking about challenges, you're new to the field, you just started working at Steve Biko Academic Hospital. What challenges are you facing as a young nurse in this field? Okay, the challenges that we face actually are that we don't we, we struggle a bit to juggle around our academic life and having to do practicals because usually we don't really get like recess days because we have to be in the clinical practice. But that's also an advantage because we get more exposure and experience and we get to see how things are done. We also get a challenge where most of the time you don't really like get the opportunity there because you're working with the life of a person, so they would actually trust the permanent staff more than a student. However, it's still a learning curve, we're always there to learn. You've been told today that nurses must shine and be bold. How do you think government in particular can help you in the work that you do to shine and be bold? I think if government can give us um, enough equipment in the hospitals, especially in public hospitals, because we are always, um, with, we are always with shortage of um, certain things such as sanitizers, gloves so if government can give us equipment to to be able to do our work to the best of our ability so that we also prevent infections in the hospital place and for you to shine and be bold what would it mean it would mean to stand tall and to be confident in what I'm doing and to be sure that what I am doing is actually a very good thing because I would like to be the nurse that I would want to have as a patient as well Great stuff. Thank you so much. Angela Beza as well as Notini Jonas who are um, young nurses, third year students who are currently doing their in-service training at Steve Nigo Academic Hospital calling on government to provide the, health, the public health care system with enough equipment so that they don't fail in their jobs. Also saying that they want to be the nurses that would take care of them. So a huge call on here for better treatment of the field that is nurses in particular in the public health care system by the nurses who are gathered here at the CSIR building in Pretoria.